Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at the whole regeneration engine, which is that big red thing sitting behind me. Now, when you download this mod, it has two blocks. We have the engine, which is very expensive. 1,000 steel plates, 150 displays, 300 computers, 1,000 superconductors, 300 power cells, 20 detector components, 80 gravity components, and 325 construction components. Which, if you're going to use in survival mode, will take a very long time to obtain and build. And then we have this thing, the regeneration storage. It costs the same, but I'm not too sure what it actually does. I've placed it around here. I place it without the engine, and I just can't figure out what it's actually doing. And the Steam Workshop page doesn't say anything. So anyway, what does this block do? Well, it regenerates any block on the grid you place this on. So it's much like that nano generation thingy, I can't remember the prop name, which would repair blocks and could also build off projectors, which was very good. But this is much more lightweight and has no performance impact. So if I was to take out a gun and say shoot the platform, it should, as you see, start repairing itself. Now this thing is a little bit buggy and sometimes it will simply not repair anything, but that's resolved by reloading the game. So shooting that, it's going to repair. However, there is a little catch with this thing. If the block is below 50%, it will not repair it. So the block has to be above 50% in order for it to activate. So it is a nice thing to have on a large base or on a large ship because you always get those moments where you know there is one block damaged there but you simply cannot find it. So what I'm going to do now is fly over to a pirate base. Now these things are exceptionally heavy so I did have to quickly modify my ship. I'm going to go say hello. There is one over there which is roughly 5.92 kilometers away. So I'm now approaching the pirate base and we'll see just how well multiple of the regeneration engines can do. Here come some missiles. It's repairing, look at that go. It's trying, it's trying so hard to keep me alive. We've lost a block, we're losing blocks. I've fallen onto the landing gear. I mean, it's doing really well. I mean, there are 24 of those things, and you can see them activating. They are glowing green. That's rather neat. So I'm just going to switch this to daytime to make it a bit more clearer. And it seems to work quite well. Yes, one isn't going to be enough to stop a missile. Probably won't stop turrets, but if you had multiple of these on a very large ship on a very large base, perhaps made out of the heavy blocks, then it's going to be just fine, I think. Just fine. So, I mean, that's taken a massive pummeling. And it's still going. So what I've done for an actual proper test, instead of being silly and building tons of them, I've built three around the base. That seems quite reasonable if you're building a large scale base. And I'm just going to shoot some rockets into it. It's not the best in the world, but it is enough just to repair that damage that it does take from the odd missile or the odd bullet. So let's say if a few drones come past and a few stray missiles hit your base, then it's not the end of the world. It can still repair itself. So of course for one final test will be the warhead test. I have built quite a few over there and these are the warheads. Shall we see what happens? I'm just expecting it to blow up because yeah, the blocks have to be above 50% in order for them to work. So if I just go select all the warheads, let's move away and see what happens. So as usual, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. I highly recommend you do, especially if you're building a large ship. And there goes most of the stations. If I was to remove that, hopefully it'll fall over. There it goes down. The game is not liking this. I think I might have crashed. Okay, well, the game has crashed, and so I'll leave it there. So thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>